ladies and gentlemen. My name is Denisa, and I am here today to talk to you about the wisdom of youth. I would like to begin with a short fact. Did you know that your brains start working from the moment you are born and never stops until you stand up to speak in public? So now that I have most of your attention, I will go on with my speech. Now, after this experience of research and acknowledging the meaning of wisdom displayed by a young-hearted part of the society, I came down to some conclusions. However, in the end, only one of them seemed to hold the strength and the truth to unveil what wisdom of youth really means, and that would be the following. Wisdom in youth is not as common as one would like to think, but it is as powerful as one might ought to fear. Now, like art, wisdom is hard to pin down to only one definition, but people generally recognize it when they encounter it. Psychologists mostly agree that it involves an integration of knowledge, deep understanding, and experience. Some facts about wise people. They all share an optimistic view of life, they all believe that life's problems can be solved, and they all encounter a certain amount of calm when dealing with difficult decisions. Now, youth, on the other hand, is commonly used to categorize people between the ages of 12 and 24. But youth also symbolizes an unspoiled mind with its unlimited imagination. Youth is the ability of thinking that nothing is impossible. I believe you have all felt youth. So please, take a moment, take a deep breath, and try to feel youth with me. Do you feel it? It feels like the world is yours, like you are capable of doing everything and anything. There is no limit set out for your imagination or for your ideas. You are thinking outside of the box, not even acknowledging yet the existence of a box. Your hearts and minds are pure, untouched by the ideas, beliefs, and principles of others who do not want you to think for your own or even to feel for your own. Now, wisdom is commonly used to categorize old people with never-ending white beards, but wisdom is a state of the mind, a true power of the mind, and not an element based on age at all. We are not born with wisdom. We have to gain it through life. Not easily, though. Some do it faster than others, and some maybe never. However, one thing we are born with, besides the obvious, is youth. Now, for most of us, it lasts no further than our 20s, but for some, it may last forever. It starts to wear off, little by little, when someone else convinces you to think, hope, believe, and even feel in the way they want you to. And it finally dies when there are no ideas, hopes, and dreams of your own left. But people, youth is a state of the heart and does not acknowledge age as well. As Pablo Picasso said, Youth has no age. Remember, the body may be old, but the heart can be young and the mind can be wise. Now, wisdom and youth together, combined, make for a powerful individual whose imagination has no boundaries and who longs to live life at its fullest, making use of his good judgment, pure confidence and knowledge. I've mentioned at the beginning of my speech that those who possess both wisdom and youth are to be feared of. This is true because they have the power, and most of all, the initiative and the imagination to change the world. But no worries, if these people were to change the world, they would probably do it wisely. Now, unfortunately for us, these people are rarely encountered. Do you ever wonder why? This is because our schools, our societies, and our communities do not encourage us enough to be wise, or even to be young. No, they teach us to grow up, and not only in the mature meaning of the word, but also in a way that we become old before we can even take advantage of being young. Now, there is still hope, because luckily for us, there are still people out there who refuse to grow old and enhance their youth even at the age of 60, combining it with the wisdom they gained along. Now, in the end, wisdom without youth settles down to being just good decisions and good advice, whereas youth without wisdom is just a pile of ideas, hopes, and dreams going down on an unknown road. I would like to conclude by giving you some advice. Those of you here who are young, learn to be wise. And those of you who are wise, be wise enough to stay young forever. 
Who knows? You may be the ones to change the world someday. Thank you.